Well, as two of the world's greatest medical minds, mm. Professor Georgina Long and Richard Scolia, have saved countless lives yeah. with their world-first melanoma treatment. So it was no surprise that when Richard was diagnosed with a stage 4 brain tumour, the pair decided to do it again. Richard undertaking an experimental treatment that has advanced the understanding of brain cancer. Now they're getting recognised for their incredible research. The medical pioneers named the 2024 Australians of the Year. And Georgina and Richard join us live from Canberra. A massive congr yeah. congratulations to you both doctors. What an incredible achievement and so well deserved. Thank, Thank you, you very much. What was it like for you, for you last night? Um, uh, I've got to tell you, um, the, uh, Ali's story on A Current yeah, Affair so uh, was, was one of the most powerful stories I've ever seen. Uh, what was it like for you last night to receive that? You go first, Richard. Well, we were blown away by, by, to win this award and, yeah, we're honoured to get it on behalf of our team and our families who've supported us. But also it gives us a platform to get that sun-safe behaviour message out there, stop glamorising tanning, mm. see if we can get us to zero deaths from melanoma. And ultimately, prevention is better than cure. So we're excited about this. It is incredible to see the way people like you operate, right? I mean, you're not doing this work to achieve an Australian of the Year accolade. You're doing this because you want to improve the lives of, of Australians and people all over the world. And that's something that you've been able to do through hard work, determination and sheer grit, really, at the end of the day. Absolutely. We're passionate about it. We have a team of people we work with that are passionate about it. When you have a goal like that, zero deaths from melanoma, it's really important to focus on that and bring people along with you. And we have a wonderful team. So you're right, it's been sheer grit and it's been incredibly fulfilling. Mm. But we cover the full gamut of melanoma. So we know for every dollar spent on prevention, us as a community nation, the nation will get $3 back. Uh, we'd rather not treat melanoma. We'd rather not see melanoma. So that's why uh, one of our messages is prevention. Stop glamorization of tanning. Yeah. Slip, slop, slap. Get out there. Be sun safe. But do it wisely. You two are bloody magnificent. Aren't they, Josh? I mean, uh, it's just... I'm in yeah. awe uh, yeah. of what you're doing. Um, it's going to be a busy year. Um, what, are you, what, are you, what are you going to strive towards achieving um, in your busy year? Well, I guess one of the important messages is around prevention and stop glamorising tanning, particularly in social media. Carl, you'd be aware of the Slip Slop Slap yeah. campaign in the 1980s, how successful that was. Mm. But these days, social media is really how messaging gets out there. So we've got to use this platform to, to get the message out there to reduce the, the glamorisation of tanning, the sun-smart behaviour message. Um, you can go down to our beautiful beaches today on a day like today and, and you'll see people who, who are out there getting a tan. We've got to, we've got to mm. get more sensible about what we do and so this is important. Sun safety behaviour in sports also very important yeah. so to change things around, not, not stop enjoying Australia but do it in a smarter way. Absolutely. I mean, Richard, you touched on there the power of social media. We also know the power of your incredible story, which, as Carl said, was on a current affair last year. It was an absolute tearjerker. We know you're going through your own treatment at the moment. Yesterday must have been pretty special for you and your family. Yes, it, yeah, well, it really was very touching. And you probably saw I gathered a few tears mm. in my eyes mm. when we were speaking on stage. But, you know, think about what we've done in melanoma. Georgina mentioned... Uh, up until a decade ago, if you had melanoma that had spread around your body, m most people were dead within a year. But now we're curing more than 50% mm. of, of patients. The five-year survival rate's now about 55%. And brain cancer, it hasn't improved in almost 20 years. So to try and use the discoveries through clinical trials that Georgina's led, mm. immunotherapy, using it before I had my brain tumour debulked, seemed like a... a no-brainer, if you like, to, to me. Let's give it a crack, see if we can make a difference in brain cancer too. Good on you. Um, you're achieving Immuno great... Immunotherapy's been an abs... Go on. Sorry. No, don't be sorry. Oh, Immunotherapy's been a game-changer. 
game changer for cancer. It started in melanoma, it's impacted so many cancers, but we've yet to optimise it. And I think brain cancer is a perfect example, one of those really hard to treat yeah. cancers. How do you optimise the immune system against such a terrible, terrible cancer? There are terrible melanomas. We're now doing it with Richard's All right. well, terrible brain cancer. Look, so lucky to have you too. Well done. Uh, look, Jordina, also, just a quick note. Um, I was on the phone to your... Um, your brother, who is really just freeloading his way around the world on cruise ships, <laughs> and he said to pass on his congratulations. I, I asked for a bit of dirt on you, and he said she wags school once in year nine, <laughs> so that was as bad as it got. Congratulations again. <laughs> nice to see you. He's cheeky, that Quentin. Thank you very much. Congrats, guys. Really good to see you. Hey there, today fans. Sarah and. <laughs> What's my name again? Oh my God. <laughs> Carl. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube <laughs> channel, though. Subscribe now for more news, special reports, and amazing Aussie stories. And Carl misbehaving, Whoa, of course. That never happens. Always happens. What's she talking about?